Welcome to day number 44 on the journey to Santiago. I'm on my way towards Dortmund today. Another big um, stepping stone, I guess. Possibly a bit of a long day. Usually is when you walk into a bigger city. To the outskirts of it, there is about 20 kilometers, I think. I have to decide where to stay. Hopefully there is a cheap hostel, maybe a church. I know there is a camping site, but it's in the north or in the on the opposite part of Dortmund. So I have to go through, all the way through the city. That's it. I will leave this great monastery. I slept very well, rejuvenated and happy that I was here. I have a stay in this kind of a place. So um, thanks for watching. And uh, we are heading towards Dortmund now. So I'm leaving and officially I will be back on the road. I'm going to look for the first marker as well as a bakery, I think. First marker down, breakfast in hand, and we can now get going. Out of Verne, little update here. Personally, I feel really good, slept well. Wake up and you feel like, okay, there's nothing in my head going on. It's just all quiet. It's a good sign in terms of having let go of some really heavy stuff the last couple of days. So I feel sort of motivated and inspired when I, uh, I look forward to start walking. I'm excited about this adventure. It's just a subtle flame inside that tickles and makes me smile and feel like I'm doing the right thing. So I'm just really delighted about that. And good to be back in nature here. It's gonna be a great day, great day. Just a break here in the quiet forest. Walk for close to two hours now. And uh, Enjoying the quiet here. Quiet forests. Beautiful. That was the Jugendherberg here in Lunen. I didn't take a picture of the uh, sign going in, but this was actually what I looked at to stay yesterday. But I'm going to head down here to the next to the lake. So officially heading towards Dortmund here, it's 14 kilometers, but I think that it must be less than that. Very nice little town here. And, uh, yeah, very nice. I like it. Another bridge here inside the city. So another monument and on this one, it actually says there's 2038 kilometers left to Santiago. 2,038 kilometers left. 2,000 to go. I thought there was more. <laughs> Still walking in Lunen. I am heading towards south part of Lunen. As you saw before, I, I walked past the, a rock that said, or a marker that said uh, 2,038 kilometers. That is if I walk straight south towards Santiago, but I am heading towards Paris. So, I mean, my own estimations is that walk in total is 3,500 or more. Just fun to see those markers. I like it. Yes, heading out of Luna now and just into the southern part of it here before I can see that the nature sort of begins. We have reached the outskirts of Dortmund. Big day, big city. So uh, we are closer now. It's only about five to seven kilometers into, into the downtown area. So this is the outskirts. I'm not sure if that means that pilgrims are actually welcome here or what, but it could definitely uh, look like it. The bench says 2,701 kilometer to San Santiago. Uh, and the bench is for pilgrims to sit on to take a rest. Kind of an interesting uh, little house here with all kinds of stuff in the, in the garden. <laughs> uh, love this kind of stuff. In the forest again here after uh, the little, yeah, I don't know if it's a suburb or whatever, but just outside of the downtown area, I think, um, then uh, Dortmund. I'm walking towards the forest here and I'm I'm assuming I'm just heading closer into uh, Dortmund through this forest. The, uh, there's markers everywhere, so it's almost impossible not to know what way you're, you're heading. So there's pretty much a marker on every single tree or post. It's a really big day today. This is my longest adventure on foot ever. Uh, I'm exceeding nine, the 920-ish kilometers that I walked across Spain, and that took 42 days, and now I'm on day 44. It's a big deal today. So. I'm walking into Dortmund. It seems fitting somehow. That's a pilgrim. What? He wore the shell. He said he walked in 2014, so that was actually the same year as I did. Um, he's walking the opposite way from Dortmund, I think it sounded like, and up north. So, yeah, interesting. 
It's less than five into the center of Dortmund. I'm sort of looking for the first and best cafe to sit down and just uh, see where um, the cheapest hostel and then go there. We have reached down t downtown or Dortmund Mitte, which is downtown area of Dortmund. And I'm now walking into the center of Dortmund. So uh, let's find a place to stay. Walking the streets of downtown Dortmund towards the place where I'm staying tonight. Yes, I pay it again. <laughs> It was a bit more expensive than I thought it would be. I'll make the money back later on with tents and with pilgrim hostels as they come more in Belgium and France. So, uh, yes, heading to where I'm supposed to be for the night. Always good to have a place to stay. I have arrived and now I can take a shower and chill out, work, do some stuff. So good to arrive, but I don't prefer paying like this. It's just not pilgrim spirit, but uh, got my stamp as you'll see and then um yeah just done in the dortmund um we'll walk out tomorrow towards um Bochum, and then um i'm hoping there'll be more places where i can sleep for cheaper uh, this is not going to work in the long run so i don't, I don't want to do this anyway so arrived all's good